The Spy, a six-episode series from Netflix, is the story of real-life Mossad agent Ellie Cohen, who in the mid-1960s posed as a wealthy Arab businessman in order to infiltrate the highest levels of the Syrian regime and send invaluable intelligence back to his Israeli handlers. It's from creator Gideon Raff, who also directs and stars Sasha Baron Cohen, best known for his comedic roles cast against type here as the legendary Israeli secret agent. The series depicts Ellie Cohen's transformation from office clerk to Mossad operative to Syrian political power player in a daring tale of espionage. The first episode is bookended with scenes that depict the brutal result of his years of successfully communicating information back to Israeli intelligence. Cohen is an Israeli hero because the information he collected was invaluable to the Israelis in the Six Day War. It all sounds exciting enough, but this is not born or bond. And the first episode simply reminds you of fictional espionage stories done with far more style and narrative daring do. And under Raf's direction, it's a deliberately drab affair for most of the first episode as we follow Cohen's recruitment and training to go undercover. Filmed largely in a grainy, dowdy palette, it looks almost as if it's a, an Israeli film from the era, only breaking into full colour when Cohen finally adopts the identity of Amin Tibet. The first episode is not helped by a cheesy montage sequence showing how Ellie gets into shape over a couple of months or the meagre degree of exposition as to why he's so motivated to go undercover for so long. But as the series develops, it'll be fascinating to watch the way an actor who has built his career on impersonating larger-than-life characters goes about playing a chameleonic character. Graham, I cannot remember being so underwhelmed by a series <laughs> as I was by this. I thought it looked mm. like it had been made in the 1960s. It does look it's like that. It's sort of like it's so, it's almost primitive. The dialogue is plodding. The direction is even worse. Mm. And I actually found Sasha Baron Cohen totally unconvincing. So it's sort of like normally I like to see as many episodes of a series as possible. Yes, you're always comment. way ahead of me. I, well, I can just to comment on them and see where they're going. I couldn't be bothered with this. No, I do not I want know. to watch another one. But I agree with you about, about him as, a, as an actor. He's, he's a peculiar actor, as a straight actor. He has one of those very, very long faces. It reminds me of that old joke, you know. Uh, oh, the, no. The, no. No, no. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but, you know, you can imagine him going into a bar and the bloke looking at him and saying, oh, why the long face? <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it's a peculiar face. It's it's like that big in the frame. Well, yeah. I, I, <laughs> really, I don't mind that. I couldn't take my I eyes off it. I mind that you know? he is so unconvincing as a performer. Mm with this character. So well, you've, you've watched the second episode, haven't uh, you? And, no. Oh, oh you know, haven't? Uh, did maybe you I, where I ventured slightly into it. Yeah, because I was interested when it turns to colour in the last two or three minutes and he does sort of change persona. I thought that was quite interesting. There's no dialogue at that point. Yeah. But it goes to colour and he's suddenly a different character. I thought you that was quite You don't know how wrong. they can make such an interesting story so drab. Yes. Look, I would give this two stars grudgingly. No, uh, I'd give it two and a half, I think. Um... I don't know why I'd give it two and a half either, but I'll give it two and a half. Carmel isn't real. That life isn't real. You are Ellie Cohen. You need to remember that. It's a bit late for that. <laughs>